All right, in this demonstration, what I'm gonna show you is a little bit easier way of texturing sometimes. And if I went all the way back and looked at Maya and looked at Photoshop, we would say this is, this is probably a very limited way of doing things. I, I would have to do a lot of thought and a lot of UV work in order for this to always work correctly. So what are my options as far as other things that might work? So I think we're going to save these as JPEG images and a new folder onto the desktop. I call this room two. Room two, I got some bricks, which is a material. Bricks are a material. I'm just going to see if I can go back and get all my other ones. I'll get this. This is a little bit different. And this one's going to be wallpaper. And then I need tile still. And here we go, final floor tile. That looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna save some of this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is do a lot of my work in Maya right off bat. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go in here and take these faces and assign them different materials. Let's pretend that this one's going to be my wallpaper. Let's go in here Assign a new material, and wallpaper is flat, so I'm going to assign it a blend, and I'm going to say wallpaper. Okay, and wallpaper is going to have the color attribute of a file, and that file is going to be an image name. That's on the desktop, and it's called room 2, and it's going to be called wall. And if I go in here to best guess, I can now select wall and hit open. There we go. It's really big. Okay. But, uh, here's a 2d place and I can have interactive placement. Oh, that's right. You can't do that with, um, this surface. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go in here and say wallpaper color and I'm going to manually go in here and do some stuff so I'm going to repeat this like maybe 10 times and 10 times this way and I'm going to get some really cool wallpaper that way okay let's do that with a brick now the brick is going to really tile unless I do some post work on it and I'm going to say I showed you how to make tileable brick but brick is also a Lambert and it's brick and it's running off a of color and that file is going to be different from my other file. And again, I can go to interactive creation and I could take the coverage or the offset or the repeats and I can make them bigger if I wanted to. Well, let's say if I take the repeat and put it at 0.5 and 0.5, I can make bigger bricks. Okay. Or I could repeat it the other way and say two and two which would make smaller bricks. Okay, that's just one-on-one -on -one Maya easiness. And there we go. And I get to see what looks real-time corresponding to the player. Okay, last one is tile on the floor. Okay, tile on the floor. 
assign a new material. Tile is shiny, so I'm going to go blend. And I'm going to say tiles. And again, I'm going to choose a file. Best guess, tiles. And open that up. And then I'm going to say, well, that's too big. So I'm going to go in here. In the coverage, I would say 8 by 8, maybe. Oops, it's 1 to 1 on that one. And repeat UVs 8 to 8. There we go. It's like, boy, that looks horrible. And I would say almost 10 to 10. All right, sweet. I got my one room schoolhouse. I got textures on it. So in the next video, I get to show you how to translate this over to one texture. Because if you really think about it, these are three separate textures on one object. So how do I get it over uh, to something else?